Today, I am going to teach Olivia to code. Now this should be fun. She is so excited. You might think coding is only for older kids, but Olivia is only six, and I know I can teach her. Aaron, I'm ready. I want to code again. Okay, Olivia, let's get started. Today, we will explore block-based coding. Coding is a skill just like any other, so you will need to practice. Did you know that coding helps enrich our problem-solving skills, storytelling skills, and helps develop our logic? But what is coding? Well, Olivia, I am going to show you block-based coding or programming as some may choose to call it. It allows you to drag and drop blocks. These blocks then tell the computer what to do. Like you, Erin, bossing me around. <laughs> A bit like that, Olivia. Young programmers like you will use coding information that are shaped as blocks to construct animated stories and even games. So yes, you can tell a story or create your very own game by carrying out a simple type of block-based coding. Wow, what instructions can I give the computer? Well, there are different types of blocks. Motion blocks, they are used to control movement. For instance, with one single block, creators can tell a sprite to move forward 10 steps or turn right or left. Looks blocks, they are used to change a sprite's appearance and can make a sprite say or think something, change costumes or backdrops or even change the size or graphic effects of a sprite. A sprite? A sprite is a character that you can move and add to your games. Ooh, so I can make a sprite for a unicorn costume? <laughs> yes, Olivia, you can. There are also sound blocks. They are used to add sound to a story or game or edit sound effects like pitch and even change the volume of different sounds. This is so exciting! What can I make? There are lots of things you can make, like clicker games, where a player must click things, say like popping balloons, in order to earn points. Chase games allow players to control a character who is chasing another character or object. Can my unicorn chase the fairy? <laughs> yes, it certainly can, as long as you choose the correct blocks. When you practice a little more, you will even be able to make adventure games. I think I better get started. I have so much to explore. Let's get that unicorn moving.